paper leak pass. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, this has been another. Oh, this has not been. This is. Mm -hmm. That's true, too. This is another episode of 94 Feet Podcast. It's your boy, Be Zeke in the building. I'm here with my brother, Dre. Yo, what's good, people? Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm also here with my brother, Kesey. What's, what's good, good people? What's good? What's um, good, good people? My bad, y'all. Should we start this over? No. Start this over no, over? no, no, no. <laughs> Just fix it. Um... How you guys been doing, man? Been doing great, man. Been ripping and running, traveling, fresh off. Uh... Well, first of all, I just want to thank uh, Dre for coming through. He, uh, yeah, you know, fresh off a of, was it was it a charter bus, <laughs> um, guiding our youth to another college visit. Yeah, our, our college students, man. Not so much our youth, our college kids, just oh, like man. that, huh? Yeah. What? What? I... See, no, 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 hold on. I came in here with a positive attitude. I congratulate my brother. What's up? Yeah, no, well, yeah, we just got back from um, Chicago, man. Spent the weekend with our college students. As you all know, I oversee a to and through college program with roughly about 800 students. So about uh, 50 plus of us were in Chicago this weekend. We did some grad school exploration, went to Top Golf, which is really not that bad in the wintertime. Uh, we went to see the Lion King on Broadway. <laughs> Uh, we went to uh, the Sabo Museum for all my black history lovers. It is a must visit in the great city of Chicago. And then today went on Michigan Ave and um, spurs a bit. But, man, you know, no, you edu ed edutainment is. No, you didn't. I did. I no, you No, you did not. <laughs> I seen what the you. No, you don't <laughs> like mid tops. I do. Edutainment is important, Jesus folks. Christ. Education and entertainment, when you merge them together, you get edutainment. So that's exactly. all I'm trying that's to do. That's good, man. Um, so if you did not get your Kia solo this weekend, you can thank Andre because he took those. <laughs> ah, all right. So we're going to get going with the show. What a hater. How do you work alongside two educators and be so critical? Listen, my kids are not stealing y'all Kias. Y'all better put a club on them things. Anyways, we go ahead and start off with the injury report. Drake. Injury report. Uh, let's get to it, folks. The Boston Celtics are without Marcus Smart. He is listed as day to day with an ankle injury. Lamelo Ball is out again with an ankle injury from the Charlotte Hornets. Kevin Love has a hairline fracture in his right thumb and is listed as day to day for the Cavs. The Joker is in COVID protocol, so he may miss up to 10 games depending on what he has, and that is not good for that franchise. The Memphis Grizzlies, I think we all saw it if you were watching the game. John Morant suffered a grade one ankle sprain. That was an ugly fall for anyone that watched the game. Like, if you're a Ja fan or if you're a Memphis fan, you held your breath. Yeah, you held your breath hard because it was one of them nasty ones where it's like, Ugh. I think it was worse. It looked it worse than what it was. But yeah, yeah. Um, the Sixers are without Tyrese Maxey. He is out a month with a fractured left foot. Mike Conley in the Utah Jazz. He is out with a left knee Who? injury. <laughs> save that for later. Oh, man. Save it for later. And those are the injuries that we know of. As you know, injuries change every day. A game time decision could mean they're actually playing. So stay stay up to date with 94 Feet on Twitter and Instagram for the latest in NBA injuries and updates. True that, true that, true that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get, get started with the shoot around. Um, usually I don't do this, but uh, every once in a while, entertainment and sports, they mix. Mm -hmm. And this just so happens, my brother, my co-host don't know what I'm about to talk about, but I just, I just want to know real quick. We don't have to get into this. Foul or let them play? Okay. Jeffrey Jordan, Michael Jordan's son, is officially dating Scottie Pippen's ex-wife. Foul or let them play? I don't care. You don't care? No. Hold on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You know me. I don't care about pop culture like that. I know you don't care about pop culture. I'm asking you about the situation. Did you hear what I said? Jeffrey Jordan, Michael Jordan's son. Fine. I'll, I'll give you a comment. Let him play. Scotty, you, you shouldn't you have dogged Michael. You, you a dirty. Nope. You a Scotty dirt. started this and MJ finished it. Are you? You, you, whoa, ever, see, no, no, no. you ever see <laughs> Trading Deck? No, you ever see Out of Time? When Denzel was in the uh, in the bar 
with, dude. He said, what if I came up to you and said, I'm in your wife on almost a daily basis. That's all MJ told little MJ to do because Scotty got out of line. Let him play, baby. There is no – little MJ has no allegiance to Scotty. They are not related. What they you mean? He, so they, first of all, first of all, this lady watched him grow up. Let's just start there. Oh, she was waiting. Let's she, just, let's just hey, start there. She was grooming him. Let's just start Hold there. On, and then say, number two. On, say this again for me. Like, oh, 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 <laughs> say that for me one more again. This is Jeffrey all, Jordan. Wait, wait, wait. This is a one-time shot, America. We are not TMZ of yeah, the we, basketball. Hey, we're not TMZ. We don't do entertainment. <laughs> but I just, I just found this very interesting. These are not only my co-hosts. These are my brothers. I need to know what y'all, what y'all, what y'all are feeling about this. Jeffrey Jordan is dating Scotty Pippen, Scotty Pippen ex-wife. Now hold on a second, though. Hold on a second. Her son is like 18, 19, 20, or something oh. like that. I think he's in the league now. He is Scotty Pippen Jr. Once uh, again, Scotty, a uh, Scotty plays second old, fiddle to is, a Michael. How old is Michael Jeffrey Jr. Jr.? He's uh, got to be in his thirties. Once again, a Pippen plays her, second fiddle. She's in her fifties. She don't look it. She don't look it. She will though. She don't look it but at she all. Don't. What is his actual age, and what is her age? I mean, <laughs> Scotty Pippen get used to being number two. G. Um. So his, so MJJ oh, is okay. Hold on a second. I, my apologies. Not Jeffrey Jordan. Marcus Jordan. Oh, he's dating Marcus Jordan. He's thirty-one. So Marcus okay. Jordan is thirty-one. That happens in America all the time. What? Okay. He is thirty-one years old. Now you're gonna ask me how old is Scotty Pippen's wife? Ex-wife. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. That's not bad. That's not bad. That happens all the time. What do you mean it happens? We are first of all. No, first of all, we already feel funny. I have a sister. Casey has a sister. We already kind of feel funny about when our friends. What I'm saying, though, what I'm saying. Like, no, you I'm, feel funny. Casey feel funny too. <laughs> Casey feel funny too. So that's first of all. And I, I I get it. I get it. Marcus, whatever. Scotty Pippen, ex wife. Okay, let me ask you a question. Then go ahead. You're Scotty. How do you feel? Big oh, I'm Scotty. Pissed. I'm pissed. Why? I'm pissed. They're because divorced. Besides, we divorced. Look, oh. we we divorced. We broke up. But Uncle there Scotty, is, <laughs> there is a there's a thin line of separation between us here. You just didn't meet him. He she came in the store. Oh hey, how you doing, Marcus? Hey, what's up? How you doing? I was just trying to get my son some shoes. I'm maybe looking at some of myself. Oh okay, cool. Because you know he runs he runs the trophy store, which is a um a retail store. For Jordans and other yep. memorabilia and stuff like that, so that's what how it's high end. So that's that's one thing. So she probably walked in. He was like, "Hey, how you doing?" Hey, let's grab lunch sometime. As a woman who is older than him, Auntie, at one point in time, he's like, "Hey, Auntie." They see she literally watched his little boy grow up. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Jordan, what? Jordan and Pippen were cool, bro. They what? They was cool enough to bring their families they to were, practice. Bro. They was cool enough to go out to dinner. I still they have probably no had dinner it. together. I still have no problems with it. Are they, both, are dirty. Are they both consensual adults? Absolutely. Then it's Stop fine it. in my books. Stop it, Drew. And I, Stop. I, I, is, I Scotty, is Scotty and Michael friends? No. Oh, really? Okay. So, again, Scotty Pippen, I, senior. Tom, Tom. Keep him over there playing Tom. Um, war games. Um, Tom. Tom. <laughs> that's what I said at the beginning, but y'all Tom. make me have an opinion. Oh, so you you feeling the same? You feeling the same, Tom? Mm-hmm. All right, hey, let them play. Let them play. Let them play. Let them play. I can't wow. believe you're not. I, I can't believe you're calling foul. I'm calling foul, man. Well, I, it's too much. It's too. It's a thin line of separation. Listen. You, <laughs> you call him foul. I'm My look, situation. I'm looking at some pictures of them. Like, didn't you take? And I'm just like, for me and as we when we were growing up, didn't you take first a all, girl for me? First of all, that's family business. That's, that's, <laughs> right there. that's first of all. Second of all, we were kids. We were, we kids. were teenagers. We were teenagers. We were teenagers. We were teenagers. Okay, <laughs> you teenagers. Okay. College. Then you start to be like, nah. Ain't right. Ain't right. <laughs> as an adult, you be like, he's thirty. This ain't right. Yeah, Something right. about this ain't right. It's fine by me. All right, Go ahead, Keisha. You're looking at photos and admiring. Larissa. I mean, it is what it is. 
Listen, 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 man. I'm, I'm calling Cap on all this. No, Cap it was. Now, Dre, I won't call Cap on it because Dre don't care. <laughs> you, I'm calling Cap. Why? I'm calling Cap because the the thin the is a thin line of separation. You know what this is? You know what this is like? It's like messing with one of your mama friends. It's like messing with one of it's like messing with one of your mama friends. No. And you bring her to the to the cookout. Or we looking at you crazy. You're like, totally well, we grown. It's no. totally different. Why not? No. Why not? No. Why not? Why the, not? The Jordan and Pippen family, they are not friends. Now they're not. Okay. They're they still not been, friends. But they haven't been for a long time. But she what I will say, watched him grow up. What I will say, what I will say not to not necessarily watch him grow up. She's well, seen him as younger. Well, yes. What I will say oh, to hey co-sign man. with Zeke, very rare, but what I'm gonna say, it does make you wonder how long she's been watching. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna make this woman out to be a predator. I'm not gonna make this woman out to be a predator. I'm not gonna call her a predator. No, it's not because listen about it. Her and Scotty, how how long they been divorced? And it's TMZ moment. Way too much time. Probably like ten years. So they've been divorced for ten years? No, but like no, probably like five years when she's messing around with future. Oh, like ten years. So they've been divorced for ten years? No, but like no, probably like five years when she's messing around with future and some other stuff. Oh, so she gets around. Oh yeah, she gets around. She hang she hang around the Kardashians. Oh, play, play, play. She'll be done with him and on to Usher next. So. Jesus Hold on. Play, play, play. She been dating who? She been she. He said future. I, I didn't said know. She messed with future. Follow, she messed with future, future a little bit. She hang around a Kardashian, so it's not a shocker that she, you know, looked the way she looked. So she'll be with Kanye next. She does kind of give you a Kardashian vibe. Of course she does. She gives you Kardashian vibe. Really? What? Well, look at her. I'm not saying that like it's a. This is too much TMZ. I'm done. All right. I just wanted to know your opinion. I'm done. I call Cat, but hey, this is just me. Anyways, what does that mean, Cat? Well, I mean, he ain't broke. He ain't right. broke. He's he's gonna inherit Jordan's em- empire. He, he has his own little thing going on money. right now. He, he got his own money. He's bringing in one point five million a year. So I mean, he yeah. ain't broke. She needs she needs she need a payday. Jesus Christ! Not necessarily the payday, but he can't afford her. All right, let's just move on. I just because I mean I don't think Scotty's bringing in that much anymore. <laughs> Scotty ain't got nothing to do with her because they divorced. Spousal support don't just because you divorce don't mean spousal support stop. That's true. All right, so um, I was going to bring this up, but it happened. I think this happened Friday night. Friday night, the uh, the Philadelphia 76ers played the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, after the game, well, the Milwaukee Bucks lost. Um, one of the things was Giannis didn't have the best performance. He shot five for fourteen from the free throw line. Um, in the midst of this. He wanted to shoot some free throws. I'm going to set up the scene before we run the clip. He wanted to shoot some free throws after the game, which is pretty common. You know, have a miserable, miserable game. You want to kind of get out there afterwards and shoot the game. Most of the time, the opposing team is accommodating because they understand where you're coming from. But, of course, in Philadelphia, things are different. In Philadelphia, things always aren't what they seem. And the clip, the viral clip that was going around was Giannis pushing the ladder away from the uh, arena workers. And when I first seen this, I'm going to get you guys' opinion, but when I first seen it, I was like, this doesn't seem like Giannis. This doesn't seem like the guy who's very humble, who's always joking around, who is always focused, laser focused. So it it didn't seem right to me. So I didn't really, like, respond to it right away. Keezy, what was your first reaction when you saw the clip of Giannis pushing the ladder? Don't disrespect me. Hmm. You you see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Anybody, come on, man. Anybody that's that's that love their craft, and you distracted me from from my mindset right now, Mm -hmm. and I just took a loss. We got a problem. Not only we got a problem, this ain't your first time seeing this. No. So that's what I'm saying. Like, and y'all won the if y'all lost the game, I get it. If y'all won the game. You should be like, yeah, go ahead, man. I don't care. They pay, they still paying you. What you what you getting all Listen, they wouldn't have done that to the Mamba. Bro. They wouldn't have did it to LeBron. They wouldn't have did it to Steph. They would oh, you want to let them shoot. They wouldn't have said nothing. I think I think But your first your first initial reaction seeing the clip though was don't disrespect me. Don't disrespect me. Dre, what was your first initial reaction when you seen the clip? I actually 
I seen the clip before I seen or read anything about the story. Mm-hmm. I actually thought it was just a passion, passion coming out. Uh, I didn't think nothing of it, but you know me, I always do feel bad for the people on the other end. Um, but to me, Giannis did nothing wrong. He was trying to play basketball. He was trying to get up his shots. And you saw him shooting the ball, and then you bring the ladder out as he's working? That's whack, man. That's foul. Real, that's real that's foul. That's my first reaction. You know, I actually posted a picture on my Instagram of Giannis fully dressed, and I captioned it, unbothered, MVP, mm-hmm. champion. Go ahead and run the clip, Tom. So I, I so he's coming over. So again, uh, unbothered, unbothered, Kesey. If I'm Giannis, he didn't push it hard enough for me. <laughs> I was thinking. If the it's same. me and I'm Giannis, I might have picked it up and threw it. He he almost did, and I I didn't edit this. He's like his his first impression was like his first the instinct was like you don't see what I'm doing. Exactly. Get I'm this smoke, get, get the ladder out of my way. Now, this is why I didn't. I'm glad I didn't react right away. Oh, but. I've seen this crap. This is about what actually happened with Giannis pushing over the ladder. And let me show you guys. So here Giannis is, free the ladder. You see the ladder all the way out the other side. It's not even close to what he's doing. Montrez Hill just took the ball from Giannis and just started barking at him. And he said, this is not effing Milwaukee. Go back home. Right, so now Giannis is mad. He just shot four for 15, and he's just trying to get some work in, asking for the ball back, and here comes the coach telling him he's not allowed to shoot there anymore. So being the guy that Giannis is, he goes to the back and gets two more basketballs. Only when he comes back to the court, the ladder is in front of the hoop. So he asked twice for them to move the ladder so he could finish shooting, and they said no. You can pause to read, but this is what Giannis said about the incident. And then Thanasis, being the great brother that he is, goes up to Harrell and starts arguing with him. Apparently, the Sixers removed their video equipment right away, so that's why the ladder was there. But Giannis was just trying to get some free throws in, and he even invited Harold to work out with him. Um, and that was like really that that was the that was the clip a lot of people didn't see till after, and I was really disappointed in people like um, what's his name? What is his name? Jeff uh. Jefferson, Jefferson, Richard Jefferson, Richard Jefferson, and uh, Ken, Kendrick Perkins. I was really disappointed in him because when you somebody of uh, Giannis stature comes into your arena, you show that man some respect. Just the same respect because because when you say, "Hey, these guys are running the league now. These guys are one of the top five NBA players." He commands a certain amount of respect, whether he's on the visiting team or the home team, because I guarantee, especially for somebody like Montrez Harrell, who played literally five minutes. Listen, that, that's the thing that got me. I'm so mind boggling right now. I've never even seen that part of the clip. A lot of people that. didn't. He started it. Mark, 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 Montrez. Mark, Montrez Harrell. Go ahead. Who? Montrez who? Ah, yes. He should go sit his monkey down somewhere listen not only should he sit himself down somewhere sit your dumb ass down more importantly bro you are like an nba swinger you've been to so many teams in the last five years you average what one to two minutes a week in play you're going to approach the world champion the mvp arguably the reigning the, the number one person for MVP right now and the number one per- person for defensive Arguably, play. Arguably, maybe the face of the league right now. You know, defensive player of the year candidate early on, and you're going to show him that kind of disrespect. So Montrez Harold also tweeted out that the reason he did it, he said, tell the whole story. He said, I asked Giannis nicely because this was my time to put up my shots, and he was on the side of the court that he wanted to play on. So that's what supposedly started this whole thing. But my thing is, just go to the other end, bro, if that's the case. He was down there first, though. And he was down at the other end first. Yeah. To disrespect Giannis like that, people try to – people don't – that's why I would say people don't respect the Bucs and think we some punks, right? They think they could just walk over us. He wouldn't have did that to um, Joker, right? Because Joker brothers would have came down on something, right? He wouldn't have did that to Bron. He wouldn't have did that to Bron. Because, because Giannis ain't their favorite. Right. They don't respect him the way that they need to. He wouldn't do it if to it, Steph. If it was if it was me and if I was the asses, 
The answers need to be all in Marquez. Oh, he was. You didn't see that part of the clip either. Oh, he was. They got into a big argument after. Well, his, yeah, his brother had came out there to talk to Montrez here. I didn't want to play that clip. A little young punk. I wish you, man, he better get out the it, way. It, it was it just show. It, it just, my it thing crazy. is. Oh, I'm Bucks not, fans pissed. I, you're oh, not yeah. going to disrespect me like that. If any superstar coming to any arena, if James Harden or Embiid came to Milwaukee, there's no way they would be treated like that. It, they wouldn't. We would just let them shoot their shot. Hey, go ahead. Knock yourself out. You know what I mean? Like all the way around. Like even, like the work, even the workers and the coaching staff, instead of them like, hey, Montrez, let us love him. Go ahead and let him they shoot just whatever. And they let him do it. Let him do it. He took the ball out the net. If I was – see, he got the right one. He got the right one. He got somebody who is – who was humble? Yep. You know what I'm saying? That ain't gonna start no mess. Because Bobby ain't gonna go there. Because if Bobby was out, if Bobby, Bobby was out there, they'd been fighting. Believe me, if Drew was out there, I believe he wouldn't have done that. Drew, because people really like Drew. A lot of people don't like Giannis for whatever reason. Drew Holiday is they voted. He's one of the most liked players in the NBA. Yeah. But let me just tell you how irrelevant Montrez Harrell is. Since 2015, he's played for the Rockets, the Clippers, the Lakers, the Wizards, the Hornets, and now the 76ers. You played for six teams and average career lows. You don't approach an MVP of that caliber. You have Joel and B come do it, right? You have someone with some 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 sense or James Hart. But you know what that is too, James Hart. James Harden hates Giannis. So what better could Montrez Harrell do? Then to get on the good side of their second best player, then to go out and try to pick a fight with Giannis. But no well, why though, for a man who just out there trying to put in some work? I don't. He just took I, an publicity. L. That, that, who, I'm sorry, that's yeah. When's the last time we even mentioned Mon, Mon, Montrez Harrell. Trails Harold? Name. The last time I, I heard of Montrez Harrell was when he was with the Lakers and LeBron. And, was and he ain't mentioned well, him since. Even for the, with the Clippers. And what's happening now? Best, yeah. What's happening now? Know. His name is a household name again. He knew exactly what he was doing. I, all I know is this. I honestly, to be really honest with you, I like Montrez Harrell. I, I, I liked him when he won six men of the year. I thought he was a hard worker. He was never. It was never like about was, the points about he was, him working it was, hard. It was, even it he was, was all little, love for his work that Nick. But the, the move he just pulled was a punk move. It was it really it really was a punk That's move. That's a punk move. But to me, to me, the bigger picture was the whole Philadelphia 76ers organization and the fact that y'all were trying to block this man from putting in some extra work just because he was an opposing um on a opposing team. That was the thing that really irritated me. And like, y'all the game. like exactly Montrez Harrell is a small a small because he could get released the next day and we wouldn't care but it's the it's the point that the organization and you got coaches and staff out there not respecting this man and the fact and they got two more games both of them in milwaukee we will oh, see them later man. so it's one of, it's, and i don't even know my treasure here will be will be on the team by then right so it's just one of those things for like the staff that's the that's the thing that irritates me is the staff and as the internet is undefeated there was a clip of guess what? Joel and B out in the, on the opposite team shooting around after the game because he had a horrible game. He actually does it often. All NBA players do it. And like like we talked about, I think we talked about this. Like when I caught I talked to Kesey like off mic, they wouldn't have did this, they wouldn't have had the same energy for LeBron, for Steph. They wouldn't have had that same energy. That's why I said it's, it's more even more disrespectful. Oh, so y'all talked about it without me? So, anyways, we. <laughs> so, but yeah, that. But we will see them again, and we, we already know what's going to happen with that. Oh, that game is probably a sellout. That game is probably a sellout I'm so, because I'm NBA, so going to get my tickets. NBA. Oh. <laughs> I got to go on my own. Now. NBA fans love a storyline. We do. And all Harold has created, he has made himself the attention again. No, he's not. He's no, no, not the attention, but he's made himself relevant for this time. We've just made seven minutes of fame. There you go. Seven minutes of fame, because that's what we've used to talk about him. But the thing that really irritates me are the commentators that are standing behind Harold. I'm not going to go live for this one. They're standing behind him. Who are? Richard Jefferson. Yeah, Richard Jefferson. Nobody. Richard Jefferson. Richard Jefferson actually is pretty good. On the commentating, on the commentating. Yeah, he is. I'm talking about. 
as far as basketball oh, level. Sure. Oh, Kendrick rough. Perkins. Another nobody. But they, you know what the you know the, the that's what, how much that's how I'm gonna start disrespecting them since they want to disrespect the, my thing honest. was my thing was with especially You're not with, gonna tag them any though. With Kendrick Perkins. I already ta- <laughs> tag him. Tag him Kendrick Perkins. Kendrick Perkins is the one that irritated me the most because um he said something just off seeing the, the initial clip. Like off the initial clip, you're like, man, what's what's going on with uh Giannis? Off the initial clip, but as a person who is in um who is in this commentator um this system or role role thank you mm-hmm. that's a better word for it i would take you to do your due diligence and it'd be like hold on a second here. right this this can't be all right. of the clip i would right. expect you to do that but you to do your due diligence so you just going off reaction right away and that's what i'm saying like even if Giannis wasn't a milwaukee buck the, my first thought was this is a Giannis. what's really going on here mm-hmm. but anyways we're going to move forward um, well, Giannis did make a statement. I think did. did you find it? He, I, yeah, I couldn't he, find it. Go ahead. On NBA.com, Giannis made a statement, and what Giannis had to say was, um, "I never try to disrespect anyone in any way, shape, or form." Giannis told reporters, "I feel like today was just an unfortunate event that took place." Uh, he told reporters that he the incident started when he was shooting free throws. And a player and a coach told him to leave the court. Didn't tell, didn't ask him. Told him to leave the court. Uh, Giannis didn't name the player, but the journal, the Milwaukee Journal, is the one that released the video footage. Actually, according to this article, and so Giannis said, "I don't know if I want to apologize because I don't feel like I did anything wrong." Giannis, don't apologize. Stand your ground. You did nothing wrong. You're the MVP. You're the best player in the NBA. They should have put some respect on your name. Or just have some freaking class. Man, I'm so tired of people that don't have class. Have some class. I just find, and it, on top of that, it happened in Philadelphia. Which is one of the worst places for sports. It's besides where? Boston. So and, and New York. Yeah. But anyways, moving forward, um, during an interview with Chris Haynes of Bleacher Report, Kevin Durant is quoting saying this. Look at our current look at our starting lineup. <laughs> Edmund Summer, Royce, Royce O'Neal, Joe Harris, Nick Claxton, and me. It's no disrespect, but what what are you expecting from this from that group? You're expecting us to win because I'm out there. Thoughts. Okay. First off, I forgot to say this. Giannis might go for 50 on them the next <laughs> I just I just thought about that in my head. Uh, the way they pissed him off, and, and the way he said he don't feel like saying he should apologize, he's going for 50. I'm a close I hope Harold plays. Harold don't want to play in that game. First of all, Harold don't be playing Cause, now. Cause, I don't know if he's gonna play in that game. Especially Bobby if it's might, close. Bobby might hit him with elbow. I'm gonna be honest. Cause you know they all stand behind Giannis. Or, or, or Grayson Allen. Cause Giannis is humble, man. Hmm? And, and oh yeah, shout out to Grayson Allen too, man. Yeah, for uh, stuff, man. That shopping spree. Now I want to. Now I want to fight. When Philly coming here? Uh, uh, they'll be here March, March. They'll be here March second and yeah. April fourth. No, but, I'm sorry, March fourth, April second. And those are after the trade deadline, so he might not be with Philly. That's what I'm saying. He might not be with Philly. He's, he's, he's better tr- hope he ain't. He's but you know what? Guess what? But guess what? He can't come to. Mo- Milltown boys. Oh, no, he's not. Don't Kia, let him hear. Kia boys, Burlai boys, <laughs> all the boys. Two seven boys. Two seven them. boys. Bucks put a ticket yeah. special. Ticket seven dollars. So everybody can be up in the bill. Listen. We do no not longer. condone. He has just lost his meal pass. And for Pete Nation does not condone the back of violence against anybody. Uh <laughs> <laughs> No, but back Com- to, the, back com- to what, what you comments, were saying. Comments of those are, are expressed are those of the individual. <laughs> are, no, no, seriously, though. No. Back to what you were saying. Now, back to Kevin Durant. Seriously. But what more do you want from me? Go ahead. Look at that. Look at that lineup. All right, can you blame Kevin? <laughs> Come on, man. And he said, he said it no better than anybody else could have said it. You put me in that lineup, and you automatically expect it to be successful. I know what you're gonna the, say because I same, see your face. Hold on. I want to go first. The same, go the same thing that goes with if you put LeBron in that lineup mm-hmm. or if you put a Steph in that lineup, you're gonna be looking like, you expect me to win with this? People expect LeBron to do it. That's what I'm just saying. If LeBron, Steph, 
Okay, so we're on the same accord then. Yeah. Yes, we do, KD. Yes, yes we do. We yes. expect Casey's not on that accord. Casey agrees with KD state. So you give a creep. I I'm not saying no, KD's no, I'm not, not wrong. I'm not saying he's wrong or right. I'm saying this is what people expect of you. Okay. Are you just okay? So you're saying we we do expect you to win with this lineup that you have. You're supposed to figure that out because you're supposed to be a leader. What is that called? Uh, what were they called? Um. Uh, a buzzer? Automatic contenders. Oh, okay, yeah. Put, remember we talked about that when we said yeah. you put Steph, Braun, KD on the roster, and they automatic consider contenders? Automatic. Not in 2022. But, yeah. but now you can't say that now. But just but just staying focused on this. Well, I want to – there's two things here. Number one, I, I, Drake said this off mic, that you, you're not supposed to say that. You don't say that. You don't say that. But if you're going to say it, which is, hey, we get it. I, it's true. That is an ugly lineup. It is very ugly. Without Kyrie, especially, because you see you put Kyrie in there. But without Kyrie, this lineup is ugly. And I get it. I even know who Edmond Summers was. So, who? Edmond, Edmond who? Edmond, exactly. I didn't know who he was. I don't make that sound. But anyway, I didn't even know who he was. So, is KD right? Yes, this lineup is horrible. But sir, it's not. I expect you to at least make this team should be com- 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 competing or contending every single night. And when you throw your teammates under the bus, we looking at you like, really, dog? Because I know he came back to the locker room like, really, KD. Like, you mentioned me by name. I can see if you was like, LeBron didn't mention people by name. He was like, hey, we just don't have a lot of shooting power right now. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm not expecting a lot here. Is, so he didn't name, like, KD named because names. Because he's being honest. No. You can't be honest. Let me finish in what I got to say. Go ahead. But I'm telling y'all, he's feeling that LeBron feeling. You know, when LeBron yeah. had them, them scrubs, mm-hmm. they wearing his ass out. Yeah. Remember that I said that. But so you now, don't say that, look though. At, you do. You because don't. That's a, you do why? Because that's, why? A statement. that's a statement to your organization. This you is... gotta fix this, or I'm out of here. Okay, when y'all done, let go me... ahead. Go you ahead. Think that, you don't think that's who we making that statement? I, I, to? You know what? Let me yes, ask. I do think he's shouting out to the GM and the owner. Like, hey guys, you're not giving me a lot to work with here. Exactly. I get it. LeBron was just a little more discreet with it. But because like, hey, you we're want... not making shots, hey, we're not doing this. But hey, he's not... right there. Please like not for doing that. He's like but, there for a reason. But KD is being honest because somebody got to be honest at some point and stop, stop letting these these superstars get wore out. They getting wore out. Like LeBron shouldn't be playing thirty seven minutes a game in LA right now, in year twenty. Okay, well then he should have enough supporting cast around him where he don't have to play thirty seven minutes. Mm. Think about it. KD shouldn't have to play. He played thirty nine minutes. He makes. How many millions of dollars? That's not a good point, but I'll let you finish. It, it is. No. So, How? so LeBron James, since you brought him up, LeBron James is going after the scoring title. He's going to play all of those that, minutes. Wait, we don't care about that right now. What we're talking you about. You don't right, care. What he we, cares. That's what you think. Right now, what we're talking about. That's what we think. Hold on. Right now, what we're talking about is. Why does he have to play 39 minutes and they still lose? Because you're the center of the franchise. When you're the franchise player, you take the team on your back. When Kobe had Smush Parker, when he had all those other scrubs, Kobe played 40 minutes. He scored 40 points. He went a stretch of eight games or more where he scored over 40 points. He realized. And he called them out. He and really, he called them out. But he called them out gracefully. He called them out. Gracefully. That's what you think. Gracefully. You think that's gracefully getting called out and you smush and you uh he didn't call him by name. But they listen, knew, but they knew who he was talking about. This is what Kevin Durant did. This is what he did. At least he was honest. He drew the line. This is what he did. Sand. See, I got something to tell you, and I mean no disrespect. What usually cap what usually happens after that? Disrespect. Disrespect. That's basically what he did. But KD doing that was strategic. It wasn't because he was being honest, it's because he wants out of Brooklyn. Oh, I know. Ooh. That's why he did that. He done with Brooklyn. He wants out of Brooklyn, and he figured when you start doing stuff like this, you start damaging the chemistry of your franchise. Regardless if they're scrubs, 
Division I players, all-stars, role players, the minute you start calling out names, Casey, that's it. That's like if you were on 94 feet, man. He is on 94 feet. Well, what I'm saying is that's like Casey saying, man, I sound good on 94 feet, but Dre and, Dre and uh, Zeke, man, they suck. Well, you know that's not true. Well, but but if he said it. Oh. oh if he said it, we well, he's be out like, the door. He's out the door. Who said, like, what? Who said I didn't say the door? It. Whatever. First of all. Yeah. <laughs> Look. <laughs> no, but seriously, though. And, 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 no. So, so, Quite, love fair, love fair. and so when you think about Kevin Durant is playing a dangerous game right now. You literally alienated, but he too, I don't get what the Nets are because Kyrie apologized. Now Kevin Durant has refute came out and clarified his statement. So Kevin Durant says, let's see here. So uh, real quick, while you're looking that up, my thing is you draw a line in the sand, the separation between you and your teammates. Rather, like whether they scrubs or not, you're not supposed to call people out individually by names. Of course, if if you if your name is uh, uh, Royce O'Neal, you know you ain't putting up numbers like that. You know you're not. But for me to say it on, especially so when guys like KD say stuff, it usually gets a lot of traction. So even so, Royce O'Neal, he's like, dude, like I'm trying to even if even if it don't work out here in Brooklyn, I want my career to go further than this. So when you say stuff like that, people looking at me kind of crazy. And besides social media going in on me, go ahead. Andre. So basically, Kevin Durant said his his comments were taken out of context. He did. That's he it. said basically he was just naming the roster of players he was playing with. He is meaning, do you want me to do everything? So he basically says um, they may be struggling, but we're all playing together. But here's the other part. People, relax. The Nets have won four out of the last six games with a new coach. They just fired their head coach. They're playing without Kyrie, the apologizer. Do they suck? They won four out of six. Do they suck? I don't think Brooklyn sucks. They're not a championship team, but they they don't suck. They are absolutely a playoff team. Have you looked at the Eastern Conference and how trash the Eastern Conference is? I think you're underestimating the Eastern Conference. You, no, I think you're underestimating the Brooklyn Nets. They're, Kevin Durant, just like last year, they were low. They were like a seven seed, and then they finished, what, second, third? The Nets finished pretty high last season. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. They they made the play-in. And got, Was it the play-in? Yeah, and then they got swept. Okay, man, it was, the, it was the year before. I'm sorry. I'm thinking the year about the year, before. the year that – we beat them in the, in the playoffs. You're right. Yeah. But every year, if Kevin Durant's on your team, you're likely going to make the playoffs. You might be low in the playoffs, but you're going to make it. Okay. So, so, so okay. Let me, let me answer this question. Sure. Because you, I, I, y'all both have valid points. I think I have a valid point, too. My thing is about that is this. I will well, come answer this question then. Dre, do you think he should have said it? Yes or no? No. Okay. No. Keezy, do you think he should have said it? Yes or no? It's fine by me. Okay. It's fine by me. And but your I, reason for that is it, it, you want to call people out, make them step up. Yeah. Okay. It, 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 sometimes it doesn't. When it works. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it don't. When has but, it But right worked? now, when you're Brooklyn and where they're at right now, you got to try something, right? Right. <laughs> Let's be honest. Come on, man. No, I'm, I'm, it's funny because you you ain't just like, you know what? He is yeah, we suck. Today. No, no, we suck. Look at this lineup. Let me let me break down this lineup. I, I feel like Katie was like, let me break this lineup down for you. Royce O'Neal, Nick Claxton, Joe Harris, and I don't even know the other guy. What's the other guy? Name? Edmund? Yeah. What, what do you want me to do with that? What do you want me to do with that? The Brooklyn Nets are sitting 10th in the Eastern Conference at 7-9, yeah. and nine, mm-hmm. but the eighth team is only 8-8. Eight and eight. It's to so y'all like to say it's early. It's been we're fifteen games in. Now we about to get to the, those that magical number that Keith like to pull, which is twenty. The Celtics are thirteen and three. The Bucks are eleven and four. Eleven and four. Are 12 so, and four? Eleven and four. 11 yeah. And four? Okay. Um, the Bucks have what? They have um, Chicago Wednesday. They have Cleveland Friday, mm-hmm. and they have Oklahoma City Sunday. So. Look, we, we we waiting for the Philly game. Pump all that. We want the Phillies. <laughs> now, all right, my moving forward. Um, speaking of uh, champs to chumps, <laughs> the Golden State Warriors are having one of the worst starts of, an, of a defending champion. They're 0-9 on the road. 
they had I had the numbers here, but these aren't correct. They have the, one of the worst plus to minus in the NBA, and one of their up and coming young players, Wiseman, has been sent back to the G League team. As he should have. Now, you don't like this, Dre, but we going. I, to I, I like. Oh no, no, no! You don't like this. Should the Warriors look into tra- trading for Kevin Durant? No, absolutely not. Or ride it out for the season? Um, I do not like Kevin Durant with Golden State because it ruins basketball. I stand by that. I do not like it. I hope it never happens. Are you hold on a second, real quick? I just want to, I'm sorry to interrupt, but at least they bring in Kevin Durant. We can just go back to the bench, or he gets traded for Kevin Durant possibility but he can't be traded because he just signed an extension so okay so we got so he's out okay so then we then we we just go back to the bench you got kd steph clay um like looney i don't like it i don't like it see you think they will have the same kind of run they had before i don't think they will easy what i don't think they will easy easy if kd goes back to golden state and he is aligned with Dray, if KD is aligned with Draymond Green, if he's aligned with Steph Curry, if he's aligned with Jordan Poole, they are going to win the title again. If KD, and we don't, we know if it was a fifth, you all be drunk. We know. We if KD doesn't get injured, the Raptors don't win that title. Mm-hmm. They that's win true. three in a row yeah, that's easily. True. Yeah, that's true. Right? KD with Golden State, I do not want it. I do not like it. I do not like the Golden State Warriors. I understand that they're talented, which is why I picked them to win the title last year Mm -hmm. and to go back to the finals this year. Mm -hmm. And I still believe they're going to go back to the finals and lose to the Bucs, okay? Kevin Durant is not a good fit. Hmm? They can't win on the road, though. Great. Easier for us. Maybe we'll sweep them, okay? So the problem with the Golden State Warriors right now is Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson is having a career worse season. He is having career lows in shooting and three point shooting. His confidence has been shot, shattered. And I don't know if it's because all these players are making all this money. Uh, he, you just won a title. Or he's old. You just won a title. And injuries, they catch up. They, they do catch up. They catch up to you. I think it's time. And I'm going to say it on this podcast on the 20, what is it? The 20th of November in 2022. The Golden State Warriors need to move on from Clay Thompson and Draymond Green. Are you smoking? I've, I said at the beginning of the season that they need to move on from Draymond. But they definitely need to move on from Clay. No, if, I, if, if, hear me out. If Jordan Poole is going to be your shooting guard, let Jordan start. But because they're calling my man for carry two and three times a game, his numbers have been atrocious, too. The minute he signed that 140, is like, bruh, where have you been? My th- <laughs> so here's the thing. Do I agree with you? A little bit. Now, do I think they should move on from Clay Thompson and put in Jordan Poole in that role? No, I do not think that. Well, why not bring Clay off the bench? What's wrong with him being the sixth man or because, seventh man? Well, this here's the thing. Like like the whole situation with um, Westbrook, you can't just be starting one day. Because his numbers have fell off, but they're not atrocious. Like Westbrook numbers are atrocious, are just like horrible. Now, I said that word wrong. No, you, you, you waiting to atrocious, atrocious. Okay, <laughs> atrocious. I went Stephen A. Real, real, his numbers are atrocious. Yeah, they it's are horrible. Both of them, though. But Clay Thompson numbers are just Down. career low. Just They're career just, low. Yep. So this is like his rookie year or something yep. like that. Mm-hmm. So which you you lose a step. Yeah. But for for them to move on to me, the, if anything. Because the reason why they have a, a worse plus and minus, because they their starting five has one of the best plus and minuses of the um, in the NBA, but it's that second unit. Mm-hmm. And that's why I was talking about uh, Wiseman. Like he's he went back; they had to send him back to the D league. I'm like, man, keep him there until he averaging thirty, because right. obviously he was he wasn't ready. Right. But the thing about it is, you know, you got him, you got Moody. You got um, I don't even know the the other young guy name, but I just don't I don't I don't think what's wrong, but I don't think having pool start is the answer. Kesey. Kesey. My bad. So 
I'm just, my bad, y'all. Listen. We can't edit out that dead air. So I got it. I got interrupted again because I seen somebody send me another clip of the thing and how Martez Hill. <laughs> you want to beat up Martez Hill, don't you? <laughs> no. Him and him and Theas is at the top of the, at the at the mid court talking, okay. right? Uh huh. He says, I'm "Why the... y'all being disrespectful?" Theas said. Uh-huh. He said, "Nasus, Theas, whatever <laughs> his name is." <laughs> They yeah. got me. They got me frustrated. I Montez see. Harrell says, mm-hmm. "Move on, y'all lost. Just leave." I that part of the video did come out too. I, I didn't did see that. all of that part either. Mm-hmm. So now I'm getting more and more heated. <laughs> the asses says, "If Steph was out here shooting, you wouldn't stop him." He said that. Put your mic to the computer. I'm saying if Stephen Curry shooting after the game, you wouldn't stop him. And Martez Hill walks off. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. not the Nazis is a hype man. But my thing is though, he, he would right. They would have. He right. They wouldn't have said a word. They not one word. Nothing. Not one mumbling word. If anything, they would have like sat back. Jesus died for us. He said no mumbling words. They would have sat they down and wa- they would have sat down and watched. They'd be like, he shoot crazy. Mm-hmm. They, they were watch as a fan. That's what I'm saying. They, they were sitting there and watch. That's crazy. I'm, I'm tripping, man. My All bad, right. y'all. I'm sorry to get us off topic again. No, you. But I, I see you want to fight Mitch Rosario. You, 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 you like think he did Stephen A. Smith. Remember he, he had I'm, that beef with Stephen I'm, A. I'm thinking about it. Go ahead. So, what do you think about these Golden State Warriors? Hey, I told you what it is. What? They ain't gonna be good until they get rid of somebody. Who? Who? Dre just said Clay Thompson. He has to go. He's a, he has to go. And Draymond, too. But, yeah. And I, I hate to say this, but I agree. But, okay. Why do I hate to agree with me? Well, because, well, you know, anything well, with the Warriors, well, I don't well, like well, to agree well, with. Exactly. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Warriors. I agree with you. I agree with you talking about. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> but, yeah. It's not enough for three Splash Brothers. No. It's not. And Pooh I remember has, you saying Pooh this. has arguably... Taking the role of the second splash. Hold player. up, though. Hold on a minute. Have you seen his? Hold numbers? on a minute. What? Have you seen his numbers? Who? Who? They're horrible. Do this you know thing. why they're horrible? Why? Because he got paid. No, because it's not enough balls. Like, oh, oh, and he's carrying now. They're calling carry on him two to three times. But hold on. Just the thing. You know what it is? They are. And First, they're calling it hard on a lot of guards. They now. are. But check this out, though. Number one, you think you want that spotlight? Doing this. Get you, you all can't. I'm sorry. They, y'all can't see me on TV unless you're watching on YouTube. But they're doing this and they're getting the whistle. The but, minute they do this, whistle. But he gets you, called two to three times a game for you, carry. You know what the problem is? What? He can't find his rhythm with Clay now. I, or, or he it worked, carries. It worked for a little bit of time, mm-hmm. but long periods and stretches when you when you when you're used to being able to shoot this ball and shoot that ball and not having to worry about sharing the minutes and sharing the ball with another person. That's a big difference. See this. Here's but my I problem told with that. y'all. Their offense was going to struggle off of that. It's not that they're not good. Mm-hmm. It's it's different trying to find a rhythm when you got three shooters. Okay, let me ask you something, Keith. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you that something. demand the ball. Let me ask you something though. Let me ask you something because we're talking about two different units here. Because Clay is starting, Poole is not. So Poole is supposed to be six man. This isn't his first time being the six man. Last year, hold on a second. Two years. When Clay Thompson was out, it was Poole. My thing is this. I said this. Poole is not as good as we all assumed he was. No. I, I truly believe that he's yeah. not as good but, as we all thought he was. But also, can he? Does he have a nice handle? Hold on. Yes. Can but he also, shoot the ball? Yes. But is he consecutively you, shooting you the have, ball? You have to do, remember this, too. What? Not being in the role that you want to be in. Has an effect on you. Has yeah. an effect on how you I'll, play. I'll give you that. Also... You got to remember that Draymond situation ain't really over. Well, Draymond hasn't really been and, the and, guy to get in your face like he usually is. No, he, he's, he, cheer, he's, he's cheering kinda, for LeBron on the sidelines. No, remember, no, but he kind of like fell back. He's falling back. Shut out with that man. Out, his teammates the one that made but the, the problem the gesture. Is, the problem is. I mean, why do you get mad at me? I mean, he can't go. Talk. He can't be talking LeBron too long. Being a grown man, let you get away for two weeks. You know what it is? Being a grown man and you got to play with another grown man and then sock you, and you ain't had a chance to get him back. That's a confidence loser. I'm so not you're playing. saying when he get traded, they are gonna fight? Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, that's the other one to go to Golden State. So we got two beefs. Draymond Green gonna get it when he comes to Milwaukee too. Ooh. Ooh. For socking Jordan Poole. Listen, oh, Jordan okay Poole's a home. Hold yeah, on, they but do. listen to this though. He ain't he don't play for Milwaukee. Let me ask y'all a question though. What? You, you a man. Mm -hmm. You playing on a team with somebody who punched oh, you. Oh, we fight every day. We punch you in the face, right? Mm -hmm. You ain't had a chance to square up with him yet. Mm -hmm. Only thing that's on my mind every time I step on the court is I really want to bust you in your jaw. You embarrass but, me. But, but I'm not you passing. embarrass him. So I'm not you passing you the ball. You embarrass him in front of the NBA fans. You embarrass him in front of me. The NBA players, you invest from his family, his, his friends, his teammates. There's there's a level of respect that's not there that he don't want to play as hard as he really should be. Mm. Until Draymond is gone, you're not going to see the Jordan Poole that we all looking for. Listen, for $140 million, you better show up to work. Listen. Thank you. If I'm Poole and I already signed the dotted, oh, ain't nothing they can until y'all get rid of him, y'all going to get the minimum out of me. Because ain't nobody going to trade for Jordan Poole. Not with that contract. Yeah, they will. Yeah, they will. It's somebody. $140 million yeah. in five years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think somebody's going to take that outside of Golden State? Yeah. 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 Well, maybe Detroit. Because yeah. they were in the mix. Listen, we, we always take me Detroit. Say, we haven't done this this year, but we did it last year. Would you take them on the box? For who? I'm asking you, would you take him? Not for who, would you take him oh, on the box? Every day, twice on Sunday. Not okay, for the contract, then. though. Yes, for the contract. I'm talking about, would no. you take him for that contract? No, I would not. No, let me ask you this question. No, I would because, not. you know, you cheat. Sure. Is this because you cheat? No, it's just because I think he was overpaid, like we all said in the beginning. Would you take him? Take who? Jordan Poole for the, with the Bucks. Yeah. With that I contract? That too. With that contract? Yeah. So, right. so you said earlier on in the season that he was overpaid. I didn't say that. Yeah, you did. We that was him. I said it, and me and you agreed on it. As far as him being 140, I said no. I you said, said Wiggins wasn't overpaid. Wiggins got just what he deserved, and we talked about Jordan Poole. And you and I said Jordan Poole number is right around the area. You, you know, said it was Jordan you Poole got it, it was him it saying mean? he got overpaid, I and I not. stand by that. And I'm look at look at what you're getting. Look at what you're getting because I'm sitting here saying. I'm sitting here saying, like I said before, I don't think he's as good as he is. And he should have got five years, 100 million. Not no 140. The, the extra 40 was when he got punched in the mouth. So when you're talking about KC, <laughs> when you're talking about heck of a bonus, a heck of a, exactly. You get punched in the mouth, you get 40 million. You can punch me in the mouth for 40 million. So I don't want to hear, I guess my, I feel like we making excuses. And every time it come around to Golden State, you get made excuses. They're 0 and 9 when it comes to road games. All their win. They they lost to Orlando on the road. Orlando on the road. Now, Steph is it's a shame because Steph Curry is having an MVP season. MVP season. Again, a little bit a little bit more respect for Steph. Shooting goat. No. That's why we don't. That's why we don't like the agree with you right there. But so it's just one of the things where like I just feel like Trade for Kevin Durant wouldn't necessarily bring the same kind of no. energy he had before. Now, Kesey, 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 what do you, what do you think? I was going to say, Kesey, what do you think about that? What do you think about Golden State trying to pick up KD? It's a bad move. Why? Come on, man. What you mean, come on, he man? He wasn't happy there once. Think he's not going to be happy there again? Well, you got Draymond Green to shut up. Well, they, they finally got Draymond Green to shut up. So now, Because hey. he's still joining the Lakers after this year, so... My thing is, though, who you going to trade for him? Because you got to trade for him now. And you can't trade Poole. Can't you can't trade, trade Wiggins. Wiggins. Steph, you definitely can't trade. So who you going to trade? I say you give me some draft picks and you they can't get trade uh, until January 15th. They can try to start trading. L listen. I say you give me some no, draft picks you can't, and you give I'm, me. You can't be give traded. Me give me Wiseman. Give me Wiseman. Give me Wiseman. You cannot be traded until within January. one within one year of a new extension because the contract year. hasn't kicked in yet. But, like I said before, one, give me some draft picks and give me Wiseman. Draft picks and Wiseman. But Golden State's a champ. What draft pick? You mean future draft picks? Future draft picks. Well, yeah, because Brooklyn gave all theirs away. So exactly. I need some draft playing, picks. So. Give me some draft picks and then out Wiseman. Wiseman? Wiseman. He's listen, a project. He's listen, not a. He's not a. Listen, he's not an answer now, but he's he a project. He got sent back to the G League for a reason. He did because he was injured, bro. No, he got sent back to the G League because of his performance. Well, should Clay and Every, Poole go back to the G League? I mean, he letting out. He letting Looney outplay him. No offense to the hometown kid, but he's letting Looney outplay him. Looney is a champ, man. Don't ever disrespect him. Three man. time champ. Looney Three is, time champ. Looney is averaging six and ten. 
and I'm, I'm being But he nice. can guard and he can switch. But on any pick and roll, he can switch and guard whoever I'm you put in front say, of him. I said no disrespect. But I'm just saying, I'm letting As you know. You disrespect. But I'm letting you know why <laughs> Looney is where he's at. Is because if you do a pick and roll, I bet you Looney can guard that one and two. Wiseman enough looks, to keep him in front of him. Wiseman was the number one draft pick. He, they expected Wiseman to start by now. And he's not. Okay. He's not there. Well, but here's the thing. He might not make it there. Golden State, the thing that we are not, that Golden State is, were patient. They were patient. So you saying ride it out? Ride it out. Are you saying ride it out? Ride it out with James Wiseman. Ride it out? Ride it out. They were or, hold on a second, real quick. Or Anthony Davis. I don't see. Anthony Davis for who, though? Wiseman. The Drake is not going to nope. do that. Draymond and Clay. Draymond and Clay. That's, only, that's the only thing that makes sense to Draymond Lakers. and Clay. Okay, fine. Draymond and, and Clay. And a draft pick. Draymond, now you're being greedy. No, Draymond because and Cl- Anthony Davis. Draymond and Clay for Anthony Davis. Although Anthony Davis is, I just traded him in fantasy. Although you just he, traded who? Anthony Davis. Oh, yeah, get rid of him. Yeah, because he's injury prone. Fantasy owners, get rid of Anthony Yeah, Davis. I picked up Collins from Atlanta and Portis. So two for one. I'm like, hmm. uh, I mean, because we're in a point lead. That's we're, solid. We're in a point lead, right? Yeah. Um, and Bobby's uh, been a double-double, like solid. every night. But anyway. The Lakers need shooting. And Clay, although in a slump, won't always be in the slump. The Lakers suck yesterday, they suck again today. <laughs> so does Golden State. And they the champs. That don't hurt me. But listen, trade for Clay while you can get some value out of it. Because somebody will still take Clay. I, yeah, so question. Will y'all take, let me rephrase the question. Will you take Clay in Milwaukee? For who? Don't you? Don't, you don't matter. Me. Would you take him for Chris Middleton? I knew you were going to say it. Did you take Clay? Because he can play small forward. I, I, I kind of I kind of want to. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Casey, I kind of want would to. Would you take Clay for Middleton? He's consistent. Clay for Middleton? Yes. Would you take him? No. No? No. No. Why not? Why? Tell me one thing Clay does better than Middleton. Defense? Shoot. Defense. Look at their percentages. No well, matter. Well, no, I, no. hold on. This year, you can't look at their percentages. Career percentages, yes. Look at their percentages. For career percentages, yes. These like, are two very similar players. I like Middleton Wait. better because Middleton can also play that point and be a decision maker as well. Ooh. Clay can too. No, he can't. No, he can't. Clay can be a decision maker. No, he's. I don't not. know about decision All maker. Right. Let's Next count. Time. Next time. <laughs> no, you're gonna defend this Golden State Warriors. No, you yeah. hating, man. No, you. I'm hating. not hating. I'm being honest. I wouldn't take him over. That's how he feel. That's how he feel. But I still feel like Clay Thompson is a has a slight edge over Middleton. A slight edge. No. Well, 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 hope, well no. This is what I'll say. I'll tell you this: you put Middleton on the uh, Golden State Warriors instead of Clay right now, and they'll be contenders again. They'll be contenders again before it's all said and done. Well, I know. I, 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 I diff. I did because I feel like. Hold on a second. I feel like Clay can come off a screen. The only person who can come off a screen better is uh, Steph Curry. I feel like Klay Thompson can come off a screen like nobody's business. So when you, I, I, I see what you're saying because Middleton like to create his own shot yeah. and he can. So Clay can't do that. With that, with that being said, Middleton will take you off the dribble. Okay, man, your question then. For the game Who's, winner, Middleton will take you off the dribble who, and he'll mouth shot you. Okay, check this out though. Who's more likely to get sixty? I think Clay is. My question to you, let me ask you this, Dan. Go ahead. Ten seconds left on the clock. It was easy for me. The score is 96-96. Mm-hmm. Who you want with the ball, Clay or Middleton? He got, he got, he got to create his own shot away come off the screen. You got to bring the ball up. Draw the play. Yeah, bring the ball up. Draw the play. Clay. I mean, no, I'm sorry. Middleton, I'm sorry. Middleton. So you need somebody to get you a bucket. It's 10 seconds question, left. Right. Answer you, want, you want Clay to take that shot off the dribble, or you want Middleton to take oh, that shot? Oh, I want Clay to take the shot off the dribble. I want Middleton. Off oh. the dribble? Middleton can create his own shot. So here's the thing, and he, I like he just, Middleton. He's going to back you off in that wing. So, Kesey. Set you up for the thing. So now you don't want Middleton gone? You were calling for him to be traded last year. Now Not you for no Clay. <laughs> That's facts. That's facts. So I'm going to say this. Hopefully, Chris Middleton doesn't come back like Clay. Because remember, Middleton hasn't touched the ball since May. He has been touching the ball. He's been in the uh, G League. G Herb. Um, Doing what? What you mean playing? He is not on the G League team. He what is on the G League team. Go no, look it up. No, he's not. He, he has is. Been playing, bro. That's where he's been. That's where he's been getting his um, workouts. Workout. He hasn't played on the team. 
I believe he played on the team. Don't look it up. Look it up. If he's playing on the team, I'll get each of y'all five dollars. I want my I need my I'm not talking about practice. I'm talking about playing in an actual regulation game. Chris Middleton has not been assigned to the D League. No, he has not. When you say play in a game, you're saying are you saying are you saying some, some G League minutes? He has not seen not one. In order to play G League minutes, you need to be assigned to the G League. Like James Wiseman has been assigned mm-hmm. to the Lee League. League. Ball had been assigned. Well, to the while, while he's looking it up, answer the question. What are you saying that you want uh, Middleton to take that shot? Are you saying that you want Clay to take that I want, shot? I want Clay to take the last. Bringing shot. the ball up, setting up his own shot. I want Clay to take the last shot. All right, that's fine. Did Between you find the an two of them, did you find an answer? I just told y'all he does not play for the G League. Move on. Casey, you know, it's the oh, side note, wait, real, real quick, while Casey's looking it up, we're a week late because we lost, but how about those Green Bay Packers? Really? Because <laughs> really? y'all just got blew out. But, but. We talking about the Cowboy game. I bet that, y'all is. I bet y'all is. I'm going to leave football alone. That's all we wanted. The Eagles the got Cowboys. exposed. Y'all lost. Hey, yeah, not, but Eagles I, suck. They lost I, to the Washington I, football team. I told you. And I said that. Remember? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? I, I, so you are not up. invited on this podcast. <laughs> Stay over there. Yeah. Hey. One, I knew Joe was going to say that. We we I called it out, though. I said the Packers were going to beat the Ellis. And I said the Commanders will mess around and beat Philly. And we also said the Packers go mess around and lose to everybody. Yeah. But they gonna be if they gonna be somebody they gonna be Dallas playoffs playoffs playoff contender no anyways <laughs> moving along back to the basketball um so the Phoenix Suns are nearing a three team trade involving Jay Cro- oh, Jay Crowder God. I was gonna ask you guys what do you think about this scenario who are they are you looking it up no I'm this is a possible scenario okay got Jay Crow- Jay Crowder. Mm-hmm. Going to Milwaukee, oh, plus a second round pick. Phoenix gets, no, I'm sorry. The third team is uh, Houston Rockets. Phoenix gets Eric Gordon, and the Houston Rockets get uh, Grayson Allen. For practice. For practice. For practice, he hasn't played a game yet. For practice. The G League is considered practice for him. But they have an actual schedule, bro. They mm-hmm. play they play games. Mm-hmm. Yes, he's not on the team. He's there for practice. I didn't say that. I said that's what I said. So he's practicing. He's not going to play with the G League. Until they say he's been reassigned, like James Wiseman, he doesn't play for the herd. He just said he was assigned to but the practice. You gonna bring the game? Well, he goes, so I. I gave it to you twice. I'm not gonna give it to you a third time. Oh, that's what I was. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. So you better get a down payment. <laughs> well, he over here slapping tables. <laughs> better get a down payment from this brother. But anyways, what do you guys think about this three team possible trade? I don't like you, man. I don't like Jay Crowder. If, really? If inconsistent was a what was team, the, hold on, what was the trade again? Those are tra- the trade is this. This is a three team trade. Uh, you got um, the Houston Rockets involved with with the Phoenix Suns and Milwaukee Bucks. You got Drake. We get Drake. Jay Crowder. Uh, the then the Phoenix get Eric Gordon, and the Houston Rockets get Gla- uh, Grayson Allen. Oh, I didn't hear that part. I still don't like it. Because- I take it. Now I'm glad you, you said no. You said yes. I, I, I take actually, it. I actually, I actually like that. Wow, I actually and, like that. And I'll give you a reason why. Go ahead. Tell me something Grayson does that Jay Carter can't do. Shoot, lies. Shoot, lies. Whole defense. Only one who was, let, the only it. one who was knocking down shots for Phoenix when they was getting blow out by fifty was who? Jay Carter. One game. The only person you can sick on anybody on Phoenix is Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder, he plays D. He's a three D guy. A, he's a three and D guy. Now here's he's, the, here, he's here, a, here's the here's the caveat. 
Grayson Allen is younger. That's the only difference. That's the only difference. But as far as as far as just doing the same things, I think Jay Crowder does the same things, but he's now, stronger. Yeah. He's bigger, stronger, here's and that a, might be to our advantage. Here's something for Grayson, though. I forgot. It might have been a Philly game. Grayson coming off the bench, I do like. You can't put him in a position that we put him in in the playoffs when Chris Middleton was out, and that's why I think they're thinking about this trade, but Grayson Allen can get his own bucket. Grayson <laughs> Grayson Allen, we behind you, bro. Forget what. <laughs> no, he not. No, he not, Grayson. Grayson okay, watch who you give your pictures. Just, watch who just, you take pictures with. Okay? Go back and listen to our. Watch who you go take look, pictures with, look, Grayson. Grayson, because, go back and look at some of my earlier because, podcasts. You can't just take pictures with anybody, okay? You cannot just take pictures with anybody. But my thing, <laughs> my thing is, I feel like Grayson Allen. He's another guy who can get his own shot. Like say, let's say you you kind of. Crowd him at the run three point line. He can he can take you to the basket. Jay, on the other hand, yeah, is, he's more he's a better PJ Tucker. Oh, Jay Crowder. I I, I would agree with that. He's I would a agree better with that. PJ Tucker. Listen, but my thing I, is my, before you go, if you grab Jay Crowder, it messes up the lineup because Bobby's he's the sixth man. man. Yeah, so now he's the seventh man. No, no, he's Jay Crowder's the seventh man. No. no, because Grayson Allen starts right now. No, because no, put, he starts put, in front of Middleton. Because listen, you throw Drake, you, you you throw Jay Crowder in the starting lineup. No, because let me tell you why. Go ahead. That frees Giannis up from having to guard some of them players that he be having to guard. We got uh, Brooke. No, I'm talking about them smaller ones. Give me an example. Like the KDs. He I want Giannis on KD. No, I the don't. The Devin Booker's. Oh, I get it. I get you it. Put Holiday on Booker. Yeah, you can have Holiday. Uh, you know what? Okay, I'll, 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 hold on. You want me to keep steal? going? Anthony Edwards. I get it. You know what I'm saying? You okay. throw Jay Crowder on them. You can also throw him on some of the bigs as well, too. If, if free, you could if actually free, throw him on Joker if you needed to for I'll, five or ten minutes to give Giannis a break. You free. It does free up Giannis defensively, and it frees up Drew defensively. In yes. that it does. I give. I'll give you. The, I just don't want to put him in that starting lineup over Bobby. Why not? Over Bobby? You need Bobby scoring off the bench because Bobby's coming off the bench scoring his 20. That's Bo- that's what we need. That's Bobby's what getting double-double off the bench. Don't mess that up. You love that. Don't mess that up. I'm telling you. I, you I, th- I, this is a lineup I would do. Go ahead. I'll do Drew. With Middleton back? With Middleton back, I'll do Drew 1, Middleton 2, Crowder 3, Giannis 4, Brook 5. All right, you sold me. I like that. You sold you me. Tell who who going to beat us in the playoffs? A lot of people, but I like that. A lot of people. You know, not when you break it down like that, I like it. But here's why I say no, because the Bucks need scoring, and Crowder does not score. He can shoot. Not consistent. Can I finish in your words? Not consistently. Bro. Grayson isn't consistent either. He's more consistent. No, he's not. Crowder. No, he's yes, not. He is. No, he's not. I just said what I said about him, I'm gonna tell you like this. about him getting his own shot. I've seen Grayson get the offense started off the bench, but go ahead. I'll tell you like this. What? If you got that lineup that I just mentioned, mm-hmm. you can switch everything. Yes, you can. You there's can, you not, can, many, there's you not can. many lineups. Between, in the- with Drew, Middleton, Crowder, even Giannis, you can, you can, not only can you switch, you can, you can, yeah, you can switch hard. <laughs> tell me what, who will be able to contest that? You You've been able to hard. switch everything. You know how much we'll be able to break? You know how many easy buckets John will be able to get? Crowder was 6'8? Six, 6'7, eight? Six, six, eight? Yeah. Solid 6'7, six, 6'8. Six, okay. He ain't no punk either. No, okay. And he, and, he, and he might fight a, fight a nigga or two for you. Oh, yeah, he will. He ain't no problem getting down and dirty. Along with Bobby. He ain't no problem getting down and dirty. Okay, real quick then, real quick. Is, real there, quick. Too, is there too much bad blood for him to come to Milwaukee? No. Between we, who? Him and Giannis. No. Because he was pretty rude he, he and was. dirty to Giannis, too. That's what I said. He's P.J. with a jumper. Okay. Now, I, so, I'm, I'm, like I'm, about to, I'm about to up like the ante. I'm about to like up the ante. I'm, like I'm about to up the ante. I'm about to up the ante. Is I, I that an actual one. rumor right now? Yeah, that's, the, that's, that's what, a rumor. It's, that's it's, a rumor. It's, the Bucks are the most likely to sign do the trade with him. In, in fact, it might be just straight in, up. In fact, last Tuesday, we were concerned that Grayson Allen may not come to the event we were having because he was the subject of trade rumors. 
I can say that. Because you know, when there's trade rumors, they they kind of keep it quiet. Yeah, they keep their distance. And they keep they like, no, we're not gonna let you travel. We're not gonna do this. Who was it? Was it Andre Miller that found out he got traded while he was on the bench? Yeah, I can see that. On the bench, he found out he got traded to a whole nother team. So I'm gonna up the ante though. I'm about to up the ante because I seen this on Twitter and I was like, ooh. Okay, so the Suns have mentioned uh, the Suns have mentioned they're checking on the Kyle Kuzma and uh, Harrison Barnes situation. Would you rather have Jay Crowder, or would you rather have Kyle Kuzma or Harris Barnes? Harrison Jay Crowder. Barnes. Jay Crowder. I would like. I would consider Kuzma for shooting, but you have to trade something big for him because he has a big contract, and Washington will expect something huge for Kyle Kuzma. I don't think huge. You would have to huh? trade. He signed an extension. He did sign an extension. You would have to trade a star player for him. Not, no. Well, in order to to get your value, because you're not getting Kuzma to come off the bench. Yes. No, you're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. I think you're not. over as the contract over isn't as, as big as you think it how is. Much how is much is it? The twenty. Three year, thirty nine million. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> and you know, he ain't getting no superstar money. It's I Kyle Kuzma. Extension. No, it's no. Kyle Kuzma. Oh, so, he's is he so he's to the Bucks too? He. So I'm saying what I, what I, I mentioned this because it's because he is linked to the Phoenix, to like Phoenix. Ooh, so nice backcourt. No. So it's, it's one of those things where like they, if they want to get rid of uh, Jay Crowder, they would do a like a three three. Ch- team trade with the Bucks and kind of such and such and such. So I'm asking if you were to like if you were a Bucks G if it were the Bucks, what would you out of these three guys, who would you want? Can he play the three? Who? Kuzma. Yeah, he can play the three. He can play the three to four. He can't play the two. He can play a small he can play a power forward. Yeah. yeah. He's six ten, six nine. Okay. I'm gonna probably go with Kyle Kuzma because he's a better shooter out of all three I feel like he's not he's not a three and D guy. He doesn't have to be a three and D. The Bucks are still one of the top defensive rated teams exactly. in the game. So, so you don't need I don't to want... D- be a three and D. Yeah, you do. I, I think right now Milwaukee needs to focus on shooting, especially with Middleton being out. We need someone that can score. And, and none of these players are consistent scorers. Kuzma certainly is not. Jay Crowder certainly is not. Mm-hmm. Dre Crowder, though, is that dog. Like, you know, is our I don't ever think we replaced our dog when PJ hit it. Yeah, that's, that's, so I like Kuzma for shooting, but I think the way KC broke it down, he'd been doing his homework because he mm-hmm. knew I was gone this weekend and I wouldn't have enough basketball. So I like the way he broke it down. <laughs> I would actually I would actually go with Dre Crowder. I would actually go with that trade. I would pick Jay Crowder because the way Casey just broke it down. He now, did. Coach Bud will find a way to mess it up, but, um, you know, ahead, I would Casey, definitely what you got? go with Crowder. I mean, who would you would you go with Harrison Barnes or would you go with Kyle Kuzma over Jay Crowder or would you go with Jay Crowder? Before bro comment, dude, Harrison Barnes ain't been good since the Warriors championship. Now, he ain't been – he he has been mentioned in the news. That's only because he's in Sacramento. I mean, when you're in Sacramento – why would I talk about you? Right, with that great coach, Mike Brown. <laughs> but besides that, they they have a better record than both the Warriors and See, the My Lakers. only problem with that is I wouldn't take Harrison. Me either. So you, you would take Kyle Kuzma? It would either have to be Kuz or it would have to be – I like Jay Crowder. Right? Jay Crowder. But I don't have Jay Crowder them, all three. But out of all three, I'm taking Jay Crowder. I'm taking Jay Crowder too. I don't like I'm Kuzma. Taking, He's too inconsistent. Kuzma is not consistent enough. He be and doing he, too And much. his defense is suspect. Very suspect. And with Harrison, he's on like an eighty some million dollar contract right now, so he's making twenty something million. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, let's gonna we're gonna go ahead and move on real quick. Um, my brother Kesey brought this up. My co-host Kesey brought this up. Every once in a blue moon, he has a good idea. This is one of them. Um, if the playoffs started today, I am the brains behind the operation. You guys, thank you very much. Operation oh, failure. All right. <laughs> If the playoffs started today, I wonder why they're not my real friends. <laughs> if they, if the playoffs started today, Steph Curry, LeBron James, and KD will be outside looking in. What would the playoffs looks like? Look like? Does this even the play playoff a uh, play? Well, does this even the playing field, or is it going to be a straight dominant performance by one of the young and upcoming superstars? I think the playing field is already even. We saw that when the Bucks won. I don't think they even the playing field. I think the playing field is even because LeBron is not what he used to be. Mm-hmm. KD is a sharp shooter. There's no doubt about it. But we already know KD can't do it alone. He can't carry a team. He can't carry a team. We know this already, 
right? Steph can't carry a team. Steph can't carry a team either, unfortunately. We've seen that. So, okay, but I'm so saying, though, I, with the playoff situation, how? I mean, if the playoff started today, uh huh. What are you what are you saying as far as the Bucks got it in the bag? Really? If the playoff started today, the Milwaukee Bucks and the Boston Celtics are probably your Eastern Conference Finals. Mm-hmm. Um let me just real quick. So right now, if the playoff started today, we got the Celtics at the number one seed, we got the Bucks at the number two seed, number three. Can Atlanta. I do it a better way? Can I do it a better way? Go ahead. So the Celtics would play the 76ers. Okay. The Bucks would play the Raptors. All right. The Hawks would play the Wizards, and Cleveland would play the Pacers in their Eastern Conference. Mm-hmm. The Bucks can beat all of those teams on their best day. Granted, they lost a few. The Bucks. I, I, as you know, I don't like to agree with you, okay. but I do agree with you on this because mm-hmm. when it comes to the Bucks, I think they they really can be any team in a seven game series in the, in the Eastern Conference. Absolutely, especially with a healthy Chris Middleton. I know we don't like it, but if he played last year, the Bucks two peak. I firmly believe that. Okay, now hey, check this out. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna do what you did, but I'm gonna do it for the East, for the West. Go ahead. We got the Jazz playing the uh, Sacramento Kings. We got Memphis playing uh, the Clippers. We got the Suns playing the uh, Nuggets, and we got. Uh, the Trailblazers playing uh, Dallas. Now mm-hmm. this, uh, coming out of the West, I think it it's a little bit more difficult. Jazz, I'm going to say I don't believe in y'all, but I think you guys are good enough to be Sacramento. One hit wonders. I think they're good enough to be Sacramento this year. Um, the Grizzlies, mm, I'm gonna I, like I think they're good. I don't think they're good enough to beat the Clippers yet if Kawhi is back. If Kawhi is not back, they're not gonna, they're not going to beat the Clippers. Yep. As far as the Sun goes, I think they're suspect, but I don't think they can beat Denver straight in the seven game series. I don't know if the the Sun can beat anybody in the seven game series. And then you, as far as the Trailblazers and the Mavs, that would be up in the air to me. The, the kind of the kind of season that uh, uh, Luca is having, MVP kind of season. I think he would get him past the first round, probably the second round. Yeah, I think, you know, with without the superstars in there right now, I think it might be Phoenix year unless Kawhi is with the Clippers. If Kawhi Leonard is healthy and he's not taking every other day off and the playoffs started today, the Clippers will probably win it all with a fully healthy Kawhi Leonard. No. I know you're not going to agree no. with that. Go ahead. No. Who you got? If it started today without those superstars in the East and the West, what do you think? We already so, talked about the East when you were gone, but go ahead and bring us up. So, so are we saying the Bucks? Yeah, without, he said the without Bucks. Middleton? Or with Middleton? Where's uh, viewer's what? choice? Oh, yeah. I'll do that. Viewer's choice. Viewer's no. choice. With. Middleton is on his Because I back. said with Middleton. He, with, Middleton, with Middleton. Middleton's any day back. He, any day he can come back. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to say the Bucks out the East. Okay. West. Now. The West. Now, I just broke this down. West is um, the West. The Jazz is number one. They'll be playing uh, Sacramento Kings to number eight. Uh, we got the Grizzlies playing the Clippers, the Suns playing the Nuggets, the Trailblazers playing uh, the Mavs. Dallas. If the playoffs were to start right now, I would go with. Coming out of the West? Out of the West, Phoenix. That's exactly what I said. I Either Phoenix, uh, or the Clippers with I'll a healthy say, Kawhi. I'll say Phoenix will. With a healthy Kawhi? With Ja's out, so I can't say Ja, but I would have said Grizzlies. But No, I'm not. saying with Ja. Ja Morant? Yeah. Yeah. I go with Memphis or Phoenix, and I'm going in the East, either the Bucks or Boston. I'm going. I'm going Clippers. No, with a healthy Kawhi. With a healthy I, I Kawhi. Like that. Absolutely. No. With a healthy Kawhi. No. no. Give me a reason why. I'm not a believer in everybody else. Mm. So you're not a believer. In... I'm not a believer in Reggie Jackson. What about Wall? I'm not a believer in playoff P. Mm. That's facts. You know what I mean? Mm. 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 He got a lot to prove to me. That's true. Still. Mm-hmm. I like him. He still got a lot of proof. I, I get it. I understand that. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, this has been another episode of 94 Feet Podcast. This is your boy, Big Zeke. I'd like to thank my brothers, Dre. Thank you for listening in, as always. We appreciate I'd like, it. I'd like to thank my brother, Keezy. Good people. Thank you for tuning in again. It's been another good one. It has. You probably won't agree with us. That's not it either. That's not it. Jesus Agree Christ. with yeah. us? Probably, Probably not. not. Listen to us on all social media platforms. Twitter, Instagram, soon TikTok, Facebook. 
at 94 feet podcasts. And also, you can always catch us everywhere your podcast is streaming. Yes. iTunes, Spotify. Google, Amazon, Spreakers, iTunes. We always say iTunes. <laughs> 94 Feet Nation. Peace, good people.